While we continue to watch Lee and its potential impacts, hurricanes in the New England region are different than other hurricanes in the Atlantic Basin. Bernie Reno explains why. All right, in tonight's WeatherWise segment, where we take a very complicated meteorological phenomenon and we make it easy for you to understand, we want to talk about New England hurricanes. They are far different than the hurricanes that we track in the Gulf of Mexico and along the southeast coast of the United States. One of the big reasons is this cooler water. Once you get north of uh, 38 degrees north uh, latitude, you start getting water temperatures cooling off significantly. Remember, you need about 78 degrees uh, Fahrenheit for tropical systems to at least maintain their strength or strengthen. These water temperatures are in the 60s. So as these hurricanes that come northward toward New England encounter that cool water, they are almost always lose wind intensity. They also, and this is not going to be the case with Lee, Typically, they are accelerating hurricanes that move at 40 to 50 miles per hour. And while we start to see the strongest winds around these hurricanes decrease, the wind field expands. That's because these systems tend to lose their tropical characteristics and tend to you see more characteristics that you would see in the wintertime, like a nor'easter. And uh, oftentimes, that's what they are compared to as they come across New England here. Now, I want to show you some of the infamous uh, New England hurricanes that we've seen over the years. The benchmark hurricane is called the Long Island Express, 1938. That was roaring northward over 40, 50 miles per hour. That knocked down, listen to this, that was estimated to knock down over 2 million trees across southern New England. The latest hurricane, probably that most people will remember, will be Hurricane Gloria and also Hurricane Bob, which was back in 1991.